What's up guys, Ryan here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some simple SEO keyword research tips for your print-on-demand products when you're listing them for sale online. Now, if you don't know what SEO stands for, it is search engine optimization. And when you are considering SEO, you're doing just that. You're optimizing your content to hopefully rank high and increase your visibility in search engines. Now guys, the first lesson I'd like to share with you when it comes to SEO tips is you want to match your listings primary keywords and primary keywords pretty much being the title of the listing regardless of what marketplace you're listing it on Amazon eBay Etsy etc they all have a title field those are your most valuable keywords you typically want to match a string of words meaning multiple words in a row or a sequence of words to the highest volume keywords most closely associated with your listing that people are searching now that's the caveat that people are searching it's one thing for us to want to sell a product and think in our heads what we think should be the most high volume keywords that are associated with that listing but it may not necessarily be what the most people are searching for when they want to find our product so we need to look into ways we can figure out what the heck people are typing into these search engines and match those words with our title so that we show up or we give ourselves the best chance of showing up at the top of search results, which will result in more clicks, which will result in more money. All right, guys, so the first keyword research tip I wanted to share involves using the world's number one search engine, google.com. So before we tab over to Google, I wanted to suggest that you check out this free Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere, which basically when you're performing searches on Google and some other websites, it will basically give you related search terms to what you searched for as well as estimating the search volume and the cost of the uh, cost per click if you search um, and the cost per click on those keywords so i searched for funny game of thrones shirt since game of thrones is really popular right now you'll notice the keywords everywhere has popped up in the sidebar it's giving me related keyword suggestions based on what it's reading from google because google and this is what i actually wanted to show you will give you related keywords after you search most of the time. So we looked for funny Game of Thrones shirt and you can see here that people are also searching for things like funny Game of Thrones t-shirts, Amazon, Target, Etsy, Walmart. Now you don't want to use those keywords in your listings because they're not really applicable. Um, like if you're selling a t-shirt on Amazon related to Game of Thrones, you don't need to put Amazon in the keyword. But if you need ideas for Game of Thrones related t-shirts, look, funny Game of Thrones quotes, Game of Thrones sigil shirts, Game of Thrones Christmas shirt, Game of Thrones beer shirts. So it's giving you plenty of ideas that you don't need to think of yourself because you can come up with the best idea ever. But if people aren't looking for it, no one will know about it unless you, unless you pay to advertise. And that's a tough battle to win. You're better off going, understanding what people are searching for and trying to serve that demand. So this is a great place to get started. All right, guys, and my last suggestion again involves Amazon.com because this is the largest online marketplace in the world right now. And it is a free Chrome extension called AMZ Suggestion Expander that works while you're searching for keywords. So as I type in, I'm gonna delete beer bong, I'm gonna retype it, beer bong. You'll notice that the AMZ Suggestion Expander is giving me keywords before what I just typed. Notice it says double beer bong. Flamingo beer bong, bongzilla beer bong, pink beer bong. Then it says key, keywords after, and it even prioritizes the higher volume keywords that come after. Beer bong long, beer bong with nozzle. And then it says other, and it continues to make these suggestions. But again, it's, it's smart enough to prioritize the higher volume keywords for after. But it still doesn't mean that there aren't uh, additional ones like beer bong for girls, beer bong for glass bottle, beer bong for can. These are just long tail keywords that should be prioritized less than beer bong long, beer bong with nozzle. So it's taking the guesswork out of this for us. In the past, you might have to figure this out on your own through testing and you should still test. I mean... If you're using a free Chrome extension, it doesn't. You shouldn't like make or break your business based on what a free Chrome extension suggests to you. Ultimately, this is your business, but you know the sequence of your keywords, the priority you assign them, meaning you know title, then bullet points, then description, and backend keywords, are kind of the priority that you're assigning to keywords to Amazon. You want to 
test, but also when you have tools basically giving you search volume estimates, uh, you can compare like this AMZ suggestion expander against sonar tool against keywords everywhere and see what the estimated search volume for the primary keywords that you're thinking about targeting, if they're in alignment for that product. So I've given you three, well, really four great tools to do keyword research. And this is a great place to get started for your print on demand business when you're creating product listings. Because guys, I always have to tell this to people, it's like you can be a great designer or have the most clever, really good design that you spent an hour, more than an hour on, but if people don't see it, it won't sell. And this whole, we're in this game to make money. In order to make money, we need to get visibility. So, you know, I've talked about this a lot, but you wanna upload to multiple products, multiple marketplaces, and you want to assign your product listing keywords that people are actually searching for. You don't wanna be selling something that nobody wants to buy. You don't wanna be selling ice to Eskimos in Alaska, right? So guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. I'm dropping the fire videos every day that I can, trying to provide value to my subscribers. Thank you for checking this video out. If you have questions, comments, feedback, please use the comments and let me know. Thank you for checking this video out and I'll see you at the next one.